Hello and welcome back to Sessions on Amadeus with Travel Academy English. My name is Gaurav Gira. Today we will be talking about uh, voiding. Now this is a topic which I have heard a lot, uh, you know, in messages and emails. So I thought let me cover this topic today. Uh, we have already covered issuance and all the topics in the previous videos. And uh, if you're coming here for the first time, you can uh, join our Telegram channel. You can uh, subscribe this channel, and also you can go through all the videos that we have done till now in English. So we have a Hindi channel also. That's a channel for uh, people who speak in Hindi. and uh, we have covered almost all the topics that we have in amadeus in english we are trying to complete everything in a different language because we received a lot of uh, you know requests on this one so now uh, let's start with a booking first of all what is void we will learn what is void and then we will jump to uh, all the commands that we use in this all right so also we have this telegram channel uh, the link is in the description you can uh, join it we give you all the study material in that uh, we uh, we have made process flows also of cancellation changes and also if you have a travel agency that will really help you and uh, if you are working somewhere that will also be of some use to you now here we we will see this thing void so first of all void is a situation when you create a reservation so for example if we create a booking right now we we saw how do we issue a ticket in the previous video so if you make a reservation right now and uh, the money that you pay does not go directly to the airlines it goes somewhere in between so let me tell you what i'm talking about so normally you see a passenger pays the uh, you know amount for the booking to travel agency travel agency then makes a reservation and pays it to the airlines but actually the money doesn't go to the airlines directly it goes to iata iata has two different uh, you know you can say uh, organizations one is bsp and one is uh, arc so iata gives this money to these two depending on the geographical uh, you know boundaries i'll tell you what that means and uh, then the money goes to the airlines so if you see the money comes from the passenger to travel agency the travel agency then pays to ita and then ita pays it to the airlines so it's a long process so first of all uh, let's understand what is bsp and what is arc bsp is billing settlement plan ARC is airline reporting corporation so the basic difference between these two is billing settlement plan is uh, uh, for the countries apart from USA so ARC is only and only for USA only for USA i mean what i mean by this is travel agencies which are registered in usa so online travel agency or travel agencies which are registered in usa uh, arc is specifically for those so when you have a travel agency which is in us and you make a reservation the money goes to arc arc then keeps the money and then give it to the airlines now the game the entire game is basically um, is 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 in this so arc works for only 5 days a week also they are like as i told you 5 days that means saturday sunday is off and there is a reason why i'm telling you this also when you give money to arc so only if you are registered in usa if you pay to the airlines the money will go to through arc in this case you will see that uh, uh, ARC would not pay to the airlines on the same day it will pay to the airlines on the next day midnight so for example today is tuesday if i issue a ticket right now if let's say i am sitting in uh, new york city and i issue a ticket right now uh, the money will go to ARC ARC would keep it till wednesday night that is thursday morning like wednesday midnight at uh, 12 am that which is thursday morning and then uh, the money will go to the airlines which means the money is with the airlines for almost uh, uh, you know more than 24 hours sometimes you know it is uh, as long as 40 hours or something also on saturday sunday they are on off so if you issue a ticket on friday 
the money will go to the airlines not on friday night because it should go on the next day midnight so not on friday not on saturday because saturday sunday is off so not on saturday not on sunday it will go to the airlines on monday which means that the money stayed in between uh, like with arc for almost 4 days let's come to bsp in case of bsp uh, it's it's for rest of the world apart from us rest of the world and uh, this will be uh, so there's no off no offs and uh, the money goes to the airlines same midnight so for example as i told you if today is tuesday and if i issue a ticket right now the money will go to the airlines at 12 midnight that is today that is you know early morning wednesday so same midnight the money goes to the airlines now why i'm telling you all this there's a reason behind it so when you issue a ticket and the money goes to arc or bsp respectively till the time money hasn't reached the airlines we are not supposed to follow the airlines rules so every airlines has a ticket which says the ticket is uh, you know uh, refundable non refundable changeable non changeable but this was this is only possible like we will only see this information if Uh, you know the money has reached the airlines if the money is not with the airlines why would we ask for a refund from them because they would say we don't have the money with us the money is still with arc or bsp so during this phase this is basically called avoidable period when the money is with arc or bsp and during that this time if you want to get a full refund of your reservation you can get now there is one important thing that this does not happen with lccs you cannot you know have this void voiding uh, facility with lccs lcc is low cost carrier where it's just like ryanair easyjet if you talk about india we have indigo uh, we have spicejet and some some small airlines uh, which will give you uh, a ticket for a lesser price however there are no facilities given for free you have to pay for everything so because they don't have a ticket and in these cases the money goes to the airlines and there is no arc and bsp involved but all the airlines that you issue through gds um, you know when you issue a ticket the money goes via these two and when it goes via these two if it is still in voidable period in case of uh, bsp same day midnight and in case of arc next midnight the money will uh, you know can be refunded so let's come back to this let's make a reservation see we have already made a reservation in the last video so i will be making it really fast um, through fxd command uh, let's say we make a reservation from uh, singapore uh, on 10th of august and it is going to melbourne coming back on the 20th of august to singapore we are putting a filter of singapore airlines let's say we want only non stop flight so the first filter that you have is with double slash enter you can go through the pricing commands like i mean the pricing videos that we have done before it will give you all the information of this right now uh, the first group is here so what we what we did here is something that i have explained in the previous videos um, now if you see here it is uh, group 1 we want to pick up this one this is this is in philippines peso so 67459 and this is a price 10th of august is a day of travel coming back is 20th of august singapore to melbourne and melbourne to singapore let's pick up this flight fxz1 enter now we have picked up the flight here there's a baggage 25 kilos again explained very detailed in the videos 67535 i am just making this reservation very fast now i'm sorry for exaggerating this thing because you have come here to avoid and not for this let me fxr fxp i am making this booking fast everything is done a singapore airline is is the one that gives you the commission itself i have covered this part also in the previous booking where i have told you how do you issue a ticket now you see it is uh, zero commission there's no commission that we are getting validating carrier because we need three things to issue a ticket commission validating carrier and form of payment so if we cash enter and we are going to save it everything is sorted now we just need to issue the tickets which is ttp/et/rt enter and here we go the tickets are issued now when the tickets are issued let's do rtdn to retrieve the ticket number if i do twd you have this ticket image right here 
if you see the ticket image like what we need to see out of this is this is 67,535 which is the total price of the ticket 25 kilo is the baggage so as I explained to you this in the pricing video that the baggage is uh, like in is in two uh, format one is piece concept one is weight concept this is weight concept you can carry a check-in luggage of 25 kilos plus a, a, a check-in bag a carry-on bag then uh, this is the fair basis now this is very important I will be covering this in the next video how to check fair rules if the ticket goes beyond voidable period so if the ticket is in voidable period we will obviously we'll do what we're going to do now but if it is beyond void period in that case we will be uh, you know checking the fair rules and this is the fair rule now let's come back to this one now let's um, you know uh, see this is the date of issuance it is 25th of july so today is 25th of july the ticket is issued today what we need to do is we will see what is the time that we have uh, right now let's say dd and this belongs to manila we need to check the time in the city in manila it is uh, 7 54 pm and the ticket is issued in manila's sudo so first of all this sudo this id this office id belongs to manila which is not in usa which is in philippines that means that the ticket that we have issued the money will not go to arc the money will go to bsp and that also means that till 12 midnight so it is 7 54 almost 8 already in manila so till 12 night that means four more hours that we have we can void this ticket we can get the money back coming to this part this is very important these are status status of ticket I will uh, cover that in a separate video, but I will let me let me tell you the main status that you might come across. O means open, that means the ticket hasn't been used. F means flown, that it has been used by the passenger. S means suspended. For some reason, the airlines have suspended the ticket. Then you have uh, E as in exchange. So whenever we will be covering a video to change a ticket, the uh, the new ticket comes as open. The old ticket becomes exchanged. After this, uh, we will have we will see one more status very often, which is V. V as in voided. Voided means once you void a ticket, the status will turn to V. From O, it will turn to V. And uh, apart from this, you will see C as in checked in. One more status. So I will cover this in a separate video. What is important for us right now is open and voided. Or, or you might also see uh, something like an A. This means airport control. This also means that the ticket that he, that we have uh, is still open. This is you know this generally means that the control is with the uh, airport staff and not the airline. So it is an internal matter to uh, the airlines, not for us. For us, it is still open. So A or O, both are open for us. Now coming back to the ticket, the ticket right now is open so how do you open a ticket you do rttn enter twd slash l and line number six so this is line number six that's why i entered l6 but if there is only one ticket you don't have to do this just just do twd and enter this will open up automatically if there are more more than one tickets then we might have to do this now coming to the important part here we want to void this ticket so rttn line number is six what we do is TRDC. Now this is the command to void a ticket. I'm sorry to exaggerate this video to this this point, but I have a habit of explaining things from the base. So, you know, somebody who came for voiding uh, might have uh, might have felt offended, but I'm really sorry. This is what we need to do: TRDC slash L and uh, the line number, which is six here. Enter, and the ticket document is cancelled. This command would not work if I try it after four hours because a ticket would not be uh, in voidable state once this is done. See, if you see right now, before I voided it, this ticket, this is a ticket number. This is electronic ticket, ET, SQ, uh, issued on 25th of July. This is the ID. This is the ITA ID. This is, this is a lot of things that we have here. But now if I do RTTN, enter, now you will see this is instead of ET, it is now EV. That means electronic void. This is voided ticket. And now if I open this TWD, you will see the status has turned to, to V instead of O, which was O here. So if I'll show you 
the difference it was o right now if i open it it is v so that's the difference that we have so this is v this is o and this is what we called as electronic void but the process is not yet over if you leave it right here so what i did basically you can split the screen from here from this part right so you do this the screen will be splitted now still the process is not over what you need to do is you need to cancel the segments how you cancel the segments is xe and the line number you want to you can cancel everything except the names so xe the flight number is at number two and number three so xe two comma three enter why we are cancelling it is because if you don't airlines might send you an adm uh, adm is agency debit memo where you get a loss from the airlines and now we let's save it and here we are the ticket is voided and the segments are cancelled so now we can expect a refund in a couple of days like three four days we can you can tell the cast the passenger that you will be getting a refund in 10 days because sometimes there might be a delay however you will be getting it within a week because the money hasn't reached the airline so you will get it without any problem this is how we void and this is the concept of void uh, I hope you understood this case. Uh, if you are looking for an online training, a personal training, so you can uh, you know call on this number or you can WhatsApp on this number. We prefer uh, preferably give only uh, personal training. There is no group sessions that we have online because uh, you know it it is really important. Generally, we are connected with all the travel agents around the world, so. Uh, this is something which is their uh, uh, you know livelihood and this is something that they take very seriously so giving a group training uh, doesn't satisfy the purpose because everybody has a different need when it comes to uh, travel in amadeus so we customize the case customize the course according to them i hope you understood this uh, uh, you can help us by subscribing the channel uh, liking this video and sharing thing, sharing it with the community also, as I told you, you can join the Telegram channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Gaurav Gera, signing off.